Falls out, falls over. Okay. All right. So, female reproductive tract. First of all, we need to be able to find the ovaries. So, they're down deep inside on this model. And then they're over here on this one. They're going to sit right next to the fallopian tubes, which are these pink tubes here. And these pink tubes here are fallopian tubes. The fallopian tubes end at an expanded section, which we call the infundibulum. So there's this portion in here that's expanded. And they actually have little fingers that come and sit really, really close to the ovary. Those are the fimbriae, so those would be all these little, like, finger projections here. So the whole thing is the infundibulum, the little finger projections are the fimbriae or the fimbriae. Now, so what's going to happen is women are going to produce an egg in the ovary. It's going to be released into the space right next to the ovary. Then inside those fimbriae, we have cilia that beat wildly once the egg is released. It's going to draw the egg up into the fallopian tube where we're either going to fertilize it or more than or it's going to be destroyed depending on what's happening. If it is fertilized, then that egg is going to pass through the fallopian tube into the uterus, which is this guy, which kind of is about the size, uh, the shape of a pear. So it's got a bigger top and a smaller bottom. And it, this is what it looks like from the side, folded over. Everything, again, above the entry from the fallopian tubes, or about here up, would be fundus. And it's really clear to see here. Everything here and up above the entry from the fallopian tubes, this is fundus. The body is the rest of the portion of the, most of the rest of it, so all of this is body in here, until we get down to the cervix, which is the outer um, opening of it. We have two portions of the cervix. We have the internal off, so the internal mouth, and then the external mouth, okay? Both of those are going to shut completely during pregnancy to prevent um, uh, any infection from getting into the uterus. The uterus wall in sort of the, the browny, tanny portion is the endometrium. That's what's going to change size significantly over a 28-day cycle, and eventually be, most of it will be sloughed off. Then we have the myometrium, which is the muscle layer, incredibly strong to generate enough pressure to push the baby out. And then the outer layer of it, which is the perimetrium or the epimetrium that surrounds it. So you can see it really nicely here, too. Now, holding all of this in place, we have a number of ligaments. The first is we have a broad ligament. So if we look at this one here, all of this stuff would be hooked up by a sheet of white tissue called the broad ligament. So it hooks up from the uterus, it hooks the ovaries all up to the sides of your body wall so that as you're like walking around, things don't move in relation to one another. Um, we also have these little guys here, which are going to go all the way up. And you can see it here, it comes all the way down and connects at the front of your body. Those are the round ligaments. And they even go down through this area, which is why some women get round ligament pains during pregnancy when they like bend down. They'll get these little pains right in here. Those are round ligament pains. Um, what did it that? From there, if the egg is going to pass out, it would go through the vagina or the baby, either one. It's going to go through... Uh, first, the fornix, which is this layer in here, and then the rugi, which is all the folding. It comes out through the vulva, which is the entire external portion of the vagina, made up of the labia majora, which is the big lip, the labia minora, which is the little lip, um, the vaginal orifice, which is obviously the hole. In this area, you would also have the external urethral orifice and the female urethra. They all exit all of these things. All this boundary marked by the labia minora is considered the vestibule. Um, up at the front, marking the most anterior portion of the, the vulva is the mons pubis. It's a fatty portion right, over, right above the bone. At the back, between the, the vaginal orifice and the anus, is the perineum. Now blocking, oh, and then the one last thing I wanted to show you here is the clitoris, the female homologue to the male penis. It's made of the exact same tissue, spongy. It even has a foreskin, just like the penis. Now dividing the genital area from the uh, bladder, there's a urogenital diaphragm not shown here, but I will test you on it because it's shown real clearly here. 
on the male model. Here is the urogenital diaphragm. Everything below here, genital, everything above here, uh, urinary system. So urogenital diaphragm shown real nicely so can you point in the male. Is that the muscle layer? Oh, that muscle layer right there. Okay. Yeah. And that's it. Cool.